also a big thank you to Semra as always. I'm not sure I'll quite be able to pronounce Eremiki as well as she does. I'm, I'm not great. I know it's my job, Wes, but my pronunciation is not fantastic. But we do have Eremiki from Morocco, 22 years old. He's won many local trophies, but this is a big step up for him here. Going up against Joy Boy, our India representative from the Asia West region. He won that region to qualify to this tournament. A newcomer to the eFootball scene, but one thing that impressed me from his information, I got to ask him a couple of questions. He wants to learn new tricks from his opponents, and that I think can be one of the most dangerous opponents to come up against because he'll be constantly downloading what you're doing and thinking how he can counter it. Yeah, that is, if, if you were to read that on anybody's bio, that is always one to be very, very careful of because Again, you're only going to get a stronger opponent the more that they play. So you would like to think that he will potentially pick up the hints and tips and tricks that he's looking for going through the tournament. Um, and again, of course, a, a small word on your pronunciations, both the chat and the audience, we forgive you. We forgive you. If you get any wrong, we forgive you. Okay. <laughs> but in terms, of, in terms of what we've got here, though, I, like I said, I'm, I'm very eager to see how these two styles mesh against one another. Yeah, absolutely. Could not agree more. We will have Joy Boy in the eight-seat Milan home strip taking on Eremiki in the all-changed white strip. It's Joy Boy with possession first. As we said throughout today, throughout mobile and console, it's going to be so fascinating to see where the change in personnel comes from, where the tactical switches happen. Who decides to use whom as a super sub? Do they hold back on some of the more offensive weapons that AC Milan have at their disposal? Or do you go gung-ho? Do you try and get that lead early on and try and defend it? Well, this is interesting that you've just seen a, a different names pop up on your screen there. Pabega uh, didn't see at all in the first game from obviously from two different players, but you can see that there are little nuanced differences lay out from the start. Here comes Okafor for Eremiki. Adley's arriving, but Tamori. One of those key pieces in defence for AC Milan. You see him as a staple, no doubt, as all of these regional winners try and qualify for the chance to represent AC Milan at the World Finals in Tokyo later this summer. Venice there for Joy Boy. Intercepts and wins the ball back and now the attack is progressing over on that far side. Calabria for the Moroccan Ermiki. Able to step in and say it so so often Wes of course this is our first full season being able to follow the mobile gameplay you have to take those chances when they appear I think you will hear us often ask how much will that cost these players when a good chance presents itself you have to take it there's potentially one building here but Ben Serra is able to step in and intercept yeah, absolutely spot on is that the blink and you'll miss it style of gameplay within mobile as Okafor finds Pabega. But you have to wonder just how much or how costly these chances are going to be if and when they present themselves if they're not taken. Teo Hernandez. He's coming cross looking for the head of Giroud. That Frenchman very, very prolific with his head. Aiming for him once more. There's a couple of white shirts over on this far side as Adley. There's a bit of green grass to run into. Man over on his right, but chooses to go left to Bobega. And it's been a fairly open first half. This ball has stayed in play for the majority of it, but very few. Clear-cut chances to speak of thus far. Is that about to change as Pulisic is tackled by Tamori and that will be a corner towards Joy Boy. A bit of a chance here towards the end of the first half. Who is his target as we 
awaits the in-swinger from Adley. Short option is there as well, decides to go in the box towards Giroud at the front post. He's been dispossessed though and the referee's assistant has held up the number zero. So it's all of zeros in this first half. Nil-nil. It's good to say zeros everywhere, shots on target, offside, you name it, that they are everywhere. And it is, it's been a testing half for both of these players because they've not really had a lot of opportunities. And as such, that and the, with the ball being in play for as long as it has been, that clock just ticked down ferociously uh, to the point now where, as we said, blink and you miss it, that that's the first half that's gone for these two players. As we can see from Joy Boy's screen, wanting to try a bit of a switch up in formation here. And I tell you what, I don't mind that at this stage of the game. As you said, there's been no shots, no chances. The ball's been in play plenty, so you've had a good half of football to try and fashion those chances yeah just something interesting to note here you mentioned about changes in shape I'll chance my hand here is that if Giroud isn't taken off there could be that diagonal ball on that we've seen so often to maybe almost route one knock it down from the big man Olivier Giroud into the path of Raphael Leal it's one of the more fascinating aspects of these club event finals as we are now underway in the second half. It's who has done their homework and who really searches for that affinity with their club and their playing style. You have to play to your strengths. And as you said, where's that diagonal is something we've seen in seasons past to be very, very prolific for this Milan club, Calabria. Is possessed on that far side. Musa are able to win it back for Joy Boy, now kicking from right to left in the Milan home strip. And I tell you what, the fans who've bought the tickets on that far side have really got their money's worth here because very little coming towards the camera here. Yeah, you can see that players have their preferences on who they attack with and what, what route they would like to go to goal. Into the feet of Okafor. Eremiki with a chance to roll forward. Adli here in the box and is able to poke it. Past the near post and into the goal. The Moroccan, who's won many local trophies is stepping up now at the next level 1-0 again it's well worked in that middle just those one twos and those short passes see there one back here one touch one pass one touch one pass it was two touch football it was a brilliant finish there by Adley you mentioned then about about phone calls You're probably telling everybody to leave me alone I am playing in a club finals here <laughs> Yeah, we were just discussing in rehearsals, obviously, with the mobile platform. Do you have a separate phone just to play eFootball? So you don't have your relatives texting you and asking you what's for dinner. <laughs> yeah, most certainly. You wouldn't want to be asked that whilst you've just got one nil up here. You wouldn't want that. You'd be like, Mum, leave me alone. I, I'm on flight mode. I am busy. Of course, all our club event finalists will be locked in at this stage of the competition. And now, for Joy Boy, the task is on. Said he wants to learn new tricks from his opponents and day-to-day -day applies his trade as a software developer. So the question is, can he fix this bug? Is he able to Substitution download the data from his opponent and try and counter? Certainly will have to. I, I'm very much a big fan of changing the spine of your team as opposed to the kind of the, the five substitution wave we saw in the first game. Much more of a fan of having a fresh defender on to combat any attackers that might have fresh legs. Looking forward to Liao Musa into the box here. And Liao on the turn! Oh, what a hit! What a hit! It's the immediate reply! from Joy Boy and it's set up the rest of our second half here for absolute drama 1-1 what a finish 
That's by it. the 25-year-old Indian. That is a wonderful finish. I mean, the keeper was almost rooted to the spot. You can see Magnan going, do I need to die for this? Uh, as you see there, completely, uh, you could have stuck two Magnans in there. He's not saving that one. That is a brilliant finish from Joy Boy. And right, as he said, time on. When substitutions have happened, things can be changed very quickly. That spine of the team change that you rightly pointed out was has been the right move so far for Joy Boy. There's a cross for Niki. Oh, now this is perfectly poised. Final 15 in-game minutes plus stoppage time, of course. To see if we will be sharing the points or if there is a winner here in our group stage. Throw into Elmiki and the White Milan strip. And unsurprisingly, there's more changes here. Vital, vital passage of play here coming up for both sides. Yeah, and the, these are the moments that will really define your, your stays here in these club finals is every pause is critical every change every small little chess move can be analysed and overanalyzed and it can really be picked apart as to whether it's the right call we're only going to know that by the end of today's proceedings as to whether the calls of the group stage are the right ones to get yourself through to those grand finals Substitution. of course goes without saying a draw far more useful to you in a round robin group stage than a loss something tells me the mentality of both men here what those three points and there's a break on three on two momentarily for joy boy liao furthest up it's into his feet now ruben loftus cheek far side that's tomori for company the cross oh not sure if that's who joy boy was intending to try and target but all of a sudden, this game has opened up. Pulisic for Ermiki. Into the feet of Hernandez now. Can he get the cross in? He can, but Magnan with strong hands. Rafael Leao, Okafor. Three minutes added on to Leao, but cannot get the first touch there. This header will be crucial. Cheek is dispossessed by Benacer, but that will be the end of our second mobile group stage match between Joy Boy and Eremiki. 1 1 Wes, but plenty of.